Remember when we all thought that Frieza was going to kill Goku at the end of episode 110 only to really have it dawn on us that more than likely Frieza is giving his energy up and then for that to be confirmed in the next episode when Frieza does give some of his energy up to Goku, well, this doesn't turn out that way. Know your place. Worm, prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. If you watched my video yesterday, I told you guys there was an added part to Dragon Ball Super X. Sort of like a cutscene at the end of the chapter once it was over, once the to be continued sign came on. And I told you I would talk about it today, and here I am delivering on my promise. This is a ending to this chapter that really doesn't make any sense because it has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Super X's story, but you just gotta see it for yourselves. It's hilarious. Alright, so we start out here where Goku is has just been defeated by Jiren and he lost Ultra Instinct. And at this point now, Frieza comes up. In the anime, Frieza offers him some of his energy, the same thing goes down here. Frieza offers Goku some of his last little bit of energy to go ahead and revive himself so he can remain relevant for the duration of the tournament. And in this fan-made manga, Goku says, thank you, he leaves, and in a moment's notice turns around and seemingly destroys Frieza. First of all, this was probably the most turnabout thing that I've seen in a fan-made manga because it didn't really make any sense and there was nothing leading up to it. Wouldn't make any sense for Goku to destroy Frieza, I guess, because you're not supposed to kill anybody during the Tournament of Power. I'm assuming that goes for your own teammates, so from that standpoint, it didn't make any sense, but there was just nothing leading up to it. I mean, Frieza started going off about how Planet was hard and how he was the one that destroyed these sands because they were peons and all this stuff. But Goku kind of just leaves like his old, his old jovial self. He's just like, ah, no problem. Thank you, Frieza. And then he leaves. And then the next panel, he turns around and just destroys Frieza, who had just given him the energy, and he apologizes. And I swear to God, that better not be a tear on his cheek for Frieza, because Frieza's already dead. He's just back for the day. Frieza would have been gone. Unless he would have thought that, you know, he's going to use the wish if he does win the tournament for evil deeds, which doesn't end up happening. 17 is the one that ends up winning. But I just thought this was funny and it, it kind of doesn't really make too much sense. But it's a really interesting thing they added at the end of this chapter. And I'm hoping with the following chapters, they add more to this. Now, the rest of the end credit scene, I'm calling it, is Goku and Vegeta and they are about to face off against Jiren for what seems to be the last time because they are at their last limit. They look all beat up, they don't they have no other options and then Vegeta just turns over to Goku and says, "All right, let's go ahead and get this get this fusion ready. We'll do the fusion dance." And at that point, they do the fusion dance and they end up becoming Gogeta. Now Gogeta looks like a total bamf in this shot. And whoever worked on Gogeta specifically, my hats go off to you because he looks slick. The detail in his body and his clothes, fantastic. I wish I could draw like this. He looks he looks great. And Jiren is astounded to see that they fuse together. And Gogeta ends up talking. I don't really like that. If Gogeta ends up being in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, I'm really hoping they go with his Fusion Reborn self where... He doesn't say anything, he's just there for business, and that would separate him a little bit from Vegito. In this fan-made manga, they do have him say a couple lines, and he sounds a little bit cocky, similar to Vegito. And that's fine, this is a fan-made manga, and I they already amused me enough with the whole Goku destroying Frieza thing, so... And the manga itself, so I'm fine with it. But again, in the anime, in the, in the movie, I'm hoping that he doesn't say anything. And Jiren seems like he's worried about his upcoming fight with with um, with Gogeta. But anyway, guys, I told you I would be taking any suggestions for new manga, new fan-made manga to review and to give you guys my perspective and kind of put it out there so you guys can read it. 
or listened to it, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this little end credit scene. This is going to be Blackscape, signing off. Enjoy your Sunday, guys.